Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello, Grade Threes, and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa, and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is transport and communication. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, it's very important for us to sanitize. Now remember, even though you wash your hands, you must always remind everyone around you to sanitize as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about reading and phonics. For our first activity today, boys and girls, let us turn to page three. On page three, we are going to be doing a comprehension passage. The title of our comprehension passage is At the Airport. Now we are going to read this passage three times. The first time is to understand what it is talking about. The second is to try and find our answers. And then the third is to make sure that our answers are correct. So let us read it together for the first time. We will start at the heading. At the airport. Juliana and her mother arrived at the airport. Her brother and sister were there too. They were going on holiday with the airplane. They all came by taxi, but most of the people drive with the train to the airport. They stood in a long queue to have their luggage booked in the attendant by the attendant. She checked their tickets and told them where to sit on the plane. Ding dong! The voice announced their flight over the intercom. Come, kids, let's go to the departure gate, said Mother said. Juliana was very excited. While they were in the airplane, Juliana looked through the window. There were many types of transport at the airport. A bus just arrived with 10 people who want to travel by air. Can they go by helicopter? She asked her mother. Mother just shook her head because they were too many. Juliana's mother told her that they were going to go to a town with a beach. The first thing they want to do is sail by boat. After that, all the children will go with the canoe to a small farm with many animals. She cannot wait to see a donkey cart. Her brother wanted to know if there will be a bicycle ride, a bicycle to ride along the river. 
So this is our story. And as you can see, it's an exciting story about a family going on holiday. There's so many interesting things about this passage. So now we're done reading it for the first time. Let's take a peek at our questions for the passage. Now we have four different questions. The first one says, and we're going to read it twice. What is the title of the story? What is the title of the story? Remember to read all your questions first and twice before you answer them. The next one says, which type of transport was used the most? Which type of transport was used the most? Number three says, who checked their tickets? Who checked their tickets? And number four says, name five different types of transport mentioned in the story. Name five different types of transport mentioned in the story. So now that we have taken a look at our questions, let's read the story for a second time. Remember, we always start with the title and then we move on. This time, I will read a little bit slower so that you can try and find your answers. Let's start together at the title. At the airport. Juliana and her mother arrived at the airport. Her brother and sister were there too. They were going on holiday with the airplane. They all came by taxi, but most of the people drive with the train to the airport. They stood in a long queue to have their luggage booked in by the attendant. She checked their tickets and told them where to sit on the airplane. Ding dong! The voice announced their flight over the intercom. Come kids, let's go to the departure gate mother said. Juliana was very excited. While they were in the airplane, Juliana looked through the window. There were many types of transport at the airport. The bus just arrived with 10 people who want to travel by air. Can they go by helicopter? She asked her mother. Mother just shook her head because they were too many. Juliana's mother told her that they were going to a town with a beach. The first thing they want to do is sail by boat. After that, all the children will go with the canoe to a small farm with many animals. She cannot wait to see a donkey cart. Her, her brother wanted to know if there will be a bicycle to ride along the river. So this is our story and we have read it twice now. We've also read the questions. Now what I want you to focus on is each and every question. Try and find the answers from the passage. Then when you are done, I'd like you to please read the story a third time. 
Now that we have read our story, let's move on to some new words and old words as well on the next page, page four. On page four, we are going to be doing vocabulary words and sight words. Now, some of these words are new to us, but others are very old. I'd like you to please repeat after me as I say the words. Transport. Transport. Airplane. Airplane. Taxi. Taxi. Train. Train. Bus. Bus. Helicopter. Helicopter. Boat. Boat. Canoe. Canoe. Donkey cart. Donkey cart. Bicycle. Bicycle. Arrived. Arrived. Luggage. Luggage. Well done, grade threes. Now let's discuss some of these words and what they mean. Transport is how people get from one place to another. That's why there are many different types of transport. An airplane is part of air transport, which means it travels in the sky. A taxi is part of road transport, and it is considered public transport because anyone can ride in a taxi. A train is part of rail transport. Now the train can either have one cart or many carts. A bus is part of road transport that is used to transport many people at a time. A helicopter is part of air transport, which is different from an airplane because it cannot carry too many people or go a very far distance. A boat is part of water transport. It is used to travel in the water. A canoe is also water transport, but the only difference is that unlike a boat, a canoe can take very few people at a time. A donkey cart is a type of transport that is mainly used in Africa, where we have two donkeys or more, or even one, pulling the back of a transporting device. Sometimes it can be a cart. A bicycle is part of road transport. It has two wheels, brakes, and requires you to move your legs or rather pedal for it to move. The word arrived, which means to come in. So if you arrived from town, that means you were coming in from town. Then lastly, the word luggage. Luggage is the bags or anything else one might be traveling with. So these are our vocabulary words. I'd like you to read them again by yourself and you go and practice using them in sentences. Let's move on to our sight words. Now our sight words are very simple this week, so let us read them together. Walk and her were they they the People over just will wanted every st
stop. So these are our sight words for this week and I'm pretty sure we have used them before or read them somewhere else. Now if you look below we have different types of transport that are being shown just like what we have on the board. Let's take a look at the board. Now on the board I have many different types of transport each of them using a different way. We have our aeroplane, the first one, just in front of the boy. This one is traveling in the air. That's why you can see the clouds. Next to it, we have what we use on the water, which is water transport. On this side, we have the canoe. And as you can see, not many people can actually fit in a canoe. And on the other side, we have a boat or a ship. Now this one can hold a lot of people and not just people, it can carry other containers as well. Then closer down to the edge, we have two types of transport. On this side, we have a taxi, which is public transport that can move from one place to another on the road. And then on this side, we have a train and it is moving on the rails. This is why it is called rail transport. Now that you know your transport, I'd like you to go ahead and look for more pictures of the different types of transport. So take your time with your comprehension. I'd like you to please read three times. And the last one is for you to check your answers. Then you can practice your vocabulary words and even look for pictures of the different types of transport. Take your time and I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our last exercise today, boys and girls, let us all turn to page five. On page five, we are going to be practicing the sound E. Now, I only said one sound, but there are two ways to say the sound. We are going to be sorting out the words that have E in them. Now the first one that you can see has an E and an A. In this one, we are saying that this is a vowel sound, a long vowel sound, where we have E and A. Now the reason why we don't hear the A is because E is powerful in this case. So he is the one controlling the sound. And then on the other side, we have two E's, E. Now this one is also considered a long vowel sound. So when you see them together, it is E and his cousin. They are playing together. Now, how can you tell the difference between the two? Well, first of all, you need to sort the words in either E, which means double E, or E, which is E-A. Let's read the words together at the bottom. We have the words B, beat, tree, C, feet, sheep, bean, sleep, free, seat, leaf, heat, eat, need, sheet. Now it's going to be your job to write them neatly in the correct boxes. And then after that, I'd like you to please sound them out. Then you read the words again. So take your time, make sure your handwriting is neat. And I will see you 
after our advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook, Active Kids, to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope that you had fun. Remember, if anything is too difficult or you can't remember, you can always ask for help. Just make sure that you finish the exercises by yourself. Now that we are done, it is important for us to sanitize at the end. Remember, when we sanitize after lessons, we're trying to make sure that whoever we see afterwards, we are staying safe from them and to protect them as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, I want to go outside and play with my friend. Zashi said he would be here just now, but I'm not sure where he is. Oh, hello Zashi, how are you? <laughs> So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! <laughs>